All right, we have more changes unfolding in the U.S. airline industry. Changes that have people now asking what the hell is going on over at Boeing, the preeminent aerospace manufacturer, following incident after incident, malfunction after malfunction that's begun to plague Boeing these past few weeks. Then last night, another incident involving a Boeing 777 began broadcasting an emergency 7700 code which means general emergency and had to divert and land immediately. We're talking back-to-back problems here. Flights that are in operation, in the air, and have to make either emergency landings or parts even of planes just flying off midair. One episode last week involving a Boeing passenger plane losing its wheel midair, falling from the sky, crushing cars in the parking lot. Yes, that really happened last week. We have the video clip. Very scary stuff and more, many, many other incidents happening in the last seven days. This is unheard of stuff, folks. All of these things happening so quickly, one after the next. Airline safety has the allure of being taken extremely seriously. Well, after this week of hell for Boeing and the passengers and United Airlines, we're going to get to them as well. Something needs to be done. Attention needs to be garnered and a spotlight needs to be drawn on what the hell's going on. What the hell's happening or not happening? Is this sabotage? Is this pure incompetence? Is this faulty manufacturing or cutting corners? Well, we have some information you're going to want to see, but before we get started, thank you for liking and sharing these videos. It really helps out the channel and consider subscribing so you don't miss these regular updates. So Boeing, folks, an aerospace manufacturing behemoth tightly linked to the Pentagon. If you're not aware, Boeing's also a military contractor, one of the Pentagon's largest military contractors. They're a massive company. So to say that the stakes are high is an understatement. Boeing planes are used all over the world. Airlines from virtually every country on the planet use Boeing planes, and this week has been a complete nightmare for the company. Here's one of the headlines. Boeing is now under criminal investigation over plane blowout at 16,000 feet that caused dramatic landing and sparked massive probe into airline safety. Now that criminal probe was just launched, looking into not everything that's just happened this week, But stemming from that crazy incident that happened last month where a plane's door just blew out mid-flight, here's some video from passengers while that was happening. Happening at 16,000 feet in the air. And there's a lot more, many more crazy incidents caught on video from this week that we're going to look at in a minute. But this one from last month kicked this string of events off. Watch this. Oh my god, it's on fire. Oh my god. Sorry. It's on fire! Mom! Holy shit. I hope they're okay. I wonder if they're doing an emergency. No, it's still doing it. It's still doing it. Now that was from last month. Well, fast forward to today. We've seen in just the last week almost a dozen additional incidents. Crazy malfunctions, all in a span of a week, one week. We saw an engine fire star, another flight had this runway mishap, another flight had had to make an emergency landing in Los Angeles, actually multiple flights like that. Another flight lost its tire midair, like we said a few minutes ago, a tire that came down in long-term parking, folks, at the airport, wrecking multiple vehicles. Look at the aftermath of that one. Imagine this was your car. Maybe I'm sensitive about it because I've been parking long-term parking in the last few weeks as I'm traveling. Then yesterday, at least 50 injured on another Boeing 787 after technical problems causes a sudden drop in altitude. Now, we have video of this, by the way. Forbes says this. Some passengers and crew on board were thrown into the roof of the plane due to the sudden drop. Citing emergency services, the BBC reported that 12 people, both passengers and crew, were taken to hospital after the plane landed, one of whom is in serious condition. According to FlightAware, the affected LA-800 flight was a Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner. The incident took place mid-flight with approximately an hour left on its journey. Now, four of the incidents I just mentioned all happened to United Airlines flights. A few incidents from Alaska Airlines, one from KLM, Royal Dutch Airlines, and a few other companies. But four in the last week came from United. 
Here's one of those mishaps caught on film this week. A United Airlines pilot just casually backing into another taxiing plane. So what the hell is happening here? Well, it seems like there's at least two things happening. First, United Airlines is barely getting any negative attention from all this. All of it seems to be directed at Boeing. But we shouldn't forget that four of the incidents this week happened to United. And the talent pool at that company is shoddy at best. Is it me or maybe some of this, not all of it, but some of it may be what happens when you don't try to hire the best pilots you can, you know, find, but instead hire based on quotas on immutable characteristics. That's what Boeing's or that's what United does. That, that's what they're doing. Here's CEO Scott Kirby telling Axios how his company doesn't hire based on meritocratic results. Watch this. How is diversity and diversity targets working into the Aviator Academy? We have committed that 50% of the class of, of the classes will be women or people of color. Uh, today, only 19% of our pilots at United Airlines are women or people of color. And by the way, from all the data I've seen, that's the highest of any airline in the country. White males don't just dominate in the cockpits, also in the C-suite at United Airlines. Well, look, at United, I'm proud of the diversity that we actually have in our, our C-suite. I think if you look around corporate America. Correct me if I'm saying, though, so I, this is just based off your website, the people you list as executives, but out of 11 people, three are women. I believe one is a person of color. Um, that's correct. Um, but, you know, in corporate America, I think, you know. That's a low bar. How do you yeah. raise your own bar? Well, a lot of this is, you know, focusing on it. We have uh, programs to, one of the things we do is for every job when we do an interview, we require women and people of color to be involved in. Saying they want to keep 50% of their pilots to be women or people of color. Who cares? Really, who the hell cares what color or gender someone is? I want to know when I board your plane that you have the best pilot possible in the cockpit. They can be blue for all I care. As long as they're hired, because of their talent, their record, their experience, because they know what they're doing. Not because of the way they look. It's insanity. This is called DEI, folks. Diversity, equity, and inclusion. A complete asinine concept. This is America. We're a meritocracy. So is that what's happening here? Are we seeing the results of DEI? Is DEI putting people's lives at risk? Having real material consequences, all for the sake of virtue signaling? I sure hope not, but the accidents this week, you know, weren't just all isolated to United. Other airlines were involved as well. The one thing, though, that they all have in common is that they're all Boeing aircraft. Now, some of that could be due to the fact that a lot of the planes in operation happen to just be Boeing planes in general. Boeing has huge market share. But they don't have ungarnered market share. They have a lot, but to have like eight, ten plus accidents in the last month, all of which were Boeing planes, leans to there's something else happening. What that is exactly, I don't know. Look at some of these other stories from last week and from yesterday and the day before. Quote, Alaska Airlines flight carrying pets arrives with cargo door open. That's another Boeing plane. The cargo door opened by itself, they believe, either midair or on landing with pets on the other side of that door. Those poor dogs probably petrified. Here's another one from Thursday. United Boeing 737 MAX veers off runway into the grass after gear collapse at Houston Airport. FAA launches a new probe after a litany of safety issues. Shocking footage showed the plane laying flat on its wings off the side of a runway after suffering an apparent gear collapse. The aircraft, which arrived from Memphis, is said to have suffered some form of gear collapse as it exited the runway at George Bush Airport. Although the 160 passengers and six crew were not injured, shocking footage does show the plane lying flat on its wings on grass by the side of the runway while passengers were hurried off from an emergency gate ladder. Now, the head of the NTSB testified at a Senate Commerce Committee hearing on Wednesday and scolded Boeing, saying they are hiding information, refusing to turn over documents on door plug removal requests. Here's the quote. NTSB Chair Jennifer Homanday said investigators have sought the names of the 25 people who work on door plugs at a Boeing facility but have not received them from Boeing. Quote, it is absurd that two months later we don't have it, unquote. Look, bottom line, Boeing is one of those untouchable companies. They're an untouchable. Some people think Elon Musk's SpaceX is untouchable due to how much the Pentagon relies on them, but that's nothing. It pales com in compared to Boeing. So yes, there is now this criminal probe in a Boeing, 
but nothing's going to happen. It, it's a formality to give the appearance something is being done. Hopefully, they get to the bottom of this because it's kind of freaky. But this criminal probe won't result in real consequences. The most you'll see is a fine. All right, that wraps up this episode. Like, subscribe. We'll see you next time.